Okay guys, so this is a very chatty, crazed Valentine's tutorial. Um, I didn't realize that I was actually hormonally challenged when I filmed this, but I decided to go ahead and post it anyway. So um, um, yeah, here we go. Yes. And death what? Okay, no. Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel today. We are gonna be playing in some makeup, okay? And the highlight of this tutorial is this right here. These are some Jordana Color Effects eyeshadows that I bought a long time ago, okay? And that's what that looks like. This color is called Simply Orange, and that is what I'm gonna focus on on the eye. Okay, so I'm gonna start by using this Nivea Men Replenishing Post Shave Balm as a primer. I've heard so many people talk about it, okay? And it was at the drugstore, so of course I was like, okay, you know, drugstore, I'm not, it's not a $42 primer, $38 primer. Yes. I'm not, I, I didn't used to be really, you know, into primers, but now I am. I particularly like the Radiant Primers by Makeup Forever, the new ones that they came up with, and I like their Hydrating Primer, okay? I really, really like those a lot. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna shake it up a little bit, I don't know. That's the consistency of it right there. And I'm just gonna apply it. Oh. Very smooth feeling. Feels very smooth. Okay, it's also suggested that you rub this in until it soaks in and gets tacky. Now, Nikki Tutorials was the original person who brought this to YouTube and uh, she discovered that it was awesome as a primer okay and ever since then you know it's been like <laughs> the newest the hottest thing since sliced bread okay i'm ready for the foundation now let's get started shake 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 and of course the foundation that i'm using is brand new it is the born this way foundation from too faced okay and i've heard so many good things about this <sighs> as you can see i have oh Okay, all right, right. That's looking like it might do. It might be the right color. That's the color of chestnut. Now, once I get it on, though, it may be a different story. So I'm just going to, ooh, kind of blend it out with my, <laughs> very smooth. That's what that was, y'all. Extreme, ooh, wait, okay. Extremely smooth, and it feels very, um, creamy and like it's going to give awesome coverage seriously oh man what did you just do to your fingernail okay brows where are you, bro? All right, so Anastasia Beverly Hills sent me her new brow definer pencils, and I have three of them, okay? And so I'm gonna use them for the first time. Um, I really, really, really love her brow wiz pencils. Love them, okay? I also love these. These are also really good, and these are the perfect brow pencils. And these are regular sharpen up pencils with a spoolie on the end. Love the spoolie, love the consistency of the pencil. So I use both of those a lot. So this is what it looks like. It is fatter, okay, than the brow is, as you can see. A thicker um, hmm, pencil. And this color is chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm not, I don't, I kinda think I need dark brown or ebony. That's what I would use right now if I had my, if I was using the brow wiz, but we're gonna go ahead. Let me see if, if this one is darker than the medium brown first. So I'm gonna use a medium brown, um, is that what this is? Yeah, because it is darker, so that's the one I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna start with the sharp portion. Hmm. I mean, it's not bad. All right, now I'm gonna, oh. Now the sharp portion is rounded, so like, okay, what was the point of that? I'm, I'm laying the flat angle part of it on the brow. All right, so it's okay. It feels a little, 
I don't know, it's a tad bit creamier than the brow is. And I prefer the smaller pencil, the more fine, smaller tip, skinny tip. I mean, you know, it depends on what kind of brows you like. You know, and I guess for those who really like the bold brow, that might work for them. Um, sometimes my brows can look a little bold, I guess, but not as bold as some. All right, so both brows are done. I'm not sure. I didn't go in and clean up with concealer or anything just because I'm a little tiny bit over that whole, you know, perfection brows. Um, you know, so I try to draw them on as good as it's going to get, even if they're not perfect. I prefer that than the painted brow look. I just prefer that, okay? Feel free to clean up your brows with concealer and have them looking sharp and precise and no imperfections. You know, if that's what you like, child, you better do that. Child, you better do it. Do it, okay? I want to use my sensual skin enhancer, so I'm going to go get that. I hate when I have to do a lot. All right, so I left the product out of the room. I have to go get it real quick. I'll be right back. So let me get that out my face. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the concealing. Oh, golly. All right, so for my under eye concealer and just overall highlighting, I'm gonna use my Kevin Ocon, Ocon, Ocon. Kevin Ocon Central Skin Enhancer. This is like my numero uno number one concealer. It wins over this any day. And that's because this is not drying at all. And like at my age, at 40 years old, I don't need anything super drying underneath my eye. This is still good. Now, it's not like super duper extra drying or anything, but if I had to choose, I would choose this. This is really expensive though, guys. So, this is still good. <laughs> okay. This is still good, but uh, this is my number one. If you were to ask me what my favorite is, it's this. And this is a foundation. It's not even, it's like a foundation concealer in one. Um, this is just really good stuff. A little bit goes a long way. Seriously. So I just go in and smear it with my finger first. Smear it. That's what I'm doing, huh? Smearing it. And I use this color because it's not too drastic of a change. You know what I'm saying? Like, once it blended out, it's not like super highlighted under the eye. Like, I just really wish, you know, I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even care about who likes to wear it that way. If that's what you like, you do it. But, <sighs> it's like, Bee! and then darkness. Blend that out. Okay. Oh, let me put some, I need to put it down here and here. La, la, la. Yeah, so I'm looking to get that new camera for sure. Like, I wish I can order it right now, right today, but that's a hefty little something. And you know, I got bills to pay. I'm gonna set it with my Ben Nye uh, palette. But first, let me get this crease out right here. You know what I'm saying? That's really creamy, all right? That product is super creamy. And so, there is the palette and I'm gonna use the lightest shade right there. Hopefully it's not too light or maybe I'll go with caramel. This one is golden and this one is caramel. All right, I'm gonna use another beauty blender and just tuck it under there and see what happens. Oh, mm. I hope I'm in focus because I'm like backing up and doing the wrong thing. I'm just pushing it in and obviously it is not like the loose powders and I am using it with a damp beauty blender. All right, I like the golden. So I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna powder the rest of my face just because I want to. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Honey Spice, I think. That one should be sufficient, is this one here, Honey Spice. Yeah, it's a little powdery, but it's okay. I'm just gonna tap it in first, kinda. I probably should use my um, Beauty Blender. Cause I really like the way that looked and I might still do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use a beauty blender and uh, get some, wait, I want to make sure I use a side I didn't use before um, and tap it in. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. You see this, like this right here. There's a demarcation there. I think the powder, I don't know if it's the right tone. Let me see. 
kind of looks right to me. Maybe a little red. I don't know, but that's what I used. All right, so that's the powdering of the face. Now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. And my battery is starting to die because this is a long video. This video is seriously long. And I'm gonna have to edit this monkey down. All right, so I'm using my eyeshadow primer that I love, the Milani eyeshadow primer. It's always the same primer, y'all. <laughs> always. All right, so I'm gonna eyeshadow baby girl. Me gonna do the eyeshadow baby girl. Okay, where is? Am I just not looking at it? What's going on? Let's make all this noise. Let's go in here and try to find it. I'm not crazy. I'm not. I'm not crazy. I'm gonna use toast on the lid just to uh, give the eyeshadow something to stick to and even things out. You know, just tapping that on because if I smear it too much, it will not be as effective. Is, is this toast? What is this? Fawn, I'm tripping. This is fawn, not toast. All right, so the first color I'm gonna use is from my La Femme palette. Do you guys remember this, La Femme? Don't sleep. I'm gonna do, should I, should I bring this? Should I do a 2016 La Femme blush palette for the people who just totally don't even know about this anymore because, you know, people just moved on to something else that's more expensive? Eh. All blushes, all great. Everybody should have these. Everybody. So I'm gonna take, uh, what am I taking? I'm gonna take russet a little bit. No, is that what you want? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this coral color, like this orange color here, and just kind of lightly brush that up here a little bit. Little taste. And this is an IT Cosmetics brush. This is the Heavenly Lux No Tug Dual Eyeshadow. And it's one of the softest blending brushes that I have, and it's dual ended. It would be really sad if my camera just died all the way right now. Oh my gosh. I just need to hurry up. Did you guys know that I was this loquacious? Like, I really edit a lot of stuff out, but this time, I don't know if I will. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it ride. Like, I don't care if you think I'm crazy. I don't care. But this is how I roll with life, y'all. I've been talking to myself for years and years. <laughs> you know, I was an only child, okay? So, talking to myself, answering myself. People say, as long as you don't answer yourself. I do that too. I do that, okay? Making weird noises or whatnot. I used to have to entertain myself, do you understand, okay? Wasn't nobody trying to entertain me as a child. It was just me. So all of this, is just what it is and I'll probably be like this until I die all right so now the next color is going to be from all the noise okay all right so I'm gonna dig into the chocolate bar palette the original the OG okay and I'm gonna go into this cherry cordial cordial color dig into there it's the first time I use this color seriously and just take that up in there like this to deepen that area am I in focus because if I'm not like I'm gonna die you know what I'm saying like I better be in focus going through all of this drama with this uh monitor to make sure I'm in focus I'm not even paying attention to make sure yeah I moved to a It Cosmetics brush because that brush was just not feeling good at all. Okay, so I'm gonna take this small, oh, yeah, okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this small uh, flat shader brush and I'm gonna wet it up, okay? I'm using this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe vera and blah, blah, blah. The color is really, really pretty, guys. Super pretty. Now, on their own, um, they swatch up real nice, 
and you can use it dry but I doubt I don't think you get the same oh yeah you do child I should have not wet this at all I just used it dry okay so the dry side of it is working better than the wet side hmm all right Yeah, I'm getting more on the dry side. You know, I wet it initially and it started doing some weird stuff. Oh, come on, don't get in the wrong spot. I'm trying to keep it concentrated to where the crease is. Go back into that cherry cordial in the chocolate bar palette. And lightly put that there just to cut it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go back into my blush palette and I'm gonna take some of this russet and I'm gonna go in here with that too. All right, and now I'm gonna take a big old fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend this out up here cause it's harsh, clean, nothing on it. Now I'm going to go into this L'Oreal Infallible Powder in Classic Tan on the same fluffy blending brush and go above where that blush is or the last color I put up there just to cut those edges. All right, so I'm gonna take that russet blush right here and take that underneath the eye as well with the other end of that uh, It Cosmetics brush. That looks good. All right, so I'm gonna catch the other eye up to speed and I will be back in a boop. Okay, so both eyes are done and the only thing I did off camera, you guys, was went in and added this here, the, lid, the main lid color with a small detail brush and added it to the inner corner down here, okay? Like this, that's what I did. And I did a little bit more blending with the eyeshadow, okay? I took a brush and just kind of blended it out a little bit more. I have a tendency to use these colors a lot. <laughs> I do know that. But um, anyway, so for the eyeliner, I want a very thin line. I don't want to do a super wing or anything like that. So I'm using my tat tattoo. Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm just gonna make a very thin line. I have to bring my mirror in super close though to do it. So I'm gonna shake that up. I think it's, I think I'm on my last leg with this. But uh, yeah. I just want a really thin line here. Okay, so the lashes are on, the eyes are complete. I am going to add a little bit more powder, but this powder is different, okay? I just feel like I need to warm it up. This is earth. This is earth, it's not earth. This is, this is the HD Set and Forget by Ruby Kisses. Y'all done forgot about this. Some of y'all have forgotten. This is some good little silicone, silica-based powder. And this is the color of it. Try not to spill it, but that's the color. I don't know if you can see, it's very warm. Color is earth. And I just wanna add a little bit of this. It's nice and smooth. It's not like a really serious powder, okay? That will cause like extreme cakiness. And it's so smooth, and this brush I'm using is so light, like you can't even tell that it's uh rubbing on the skin. What am I talking about? The bristles on this brush is so light so I can go ahead and swirl it without it uh, damaging or disturbing the foundation. And I want this because it's, like I said, it has a lot of silica in it and it's a real smooth powder. So you can see how it's smooth, you can see how it's smoothing it out. This right here though, something right here ain't right. I have a dark spot right there. What's happening? I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to contour. I'm going to use Tanzania, the one next to it, that one right there. All right, and 
get a little oh child I'm scared all right so I'm gonna go into max blunt blush and use that as a contour for my nose just a tiny tad bit and I'm using this fluffy business and I use the same one for uh, the blend out above my eyeshadow Am I sweating on my nose? I feel like I'm sweating. And to help to help blend that out, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just kind of go over it just a little bit to help blend it out. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna go back into my La Femme blush palette and use this color right here, which is called Cinnabar. Okay, so now it's time to highlight, and I'm gonna be using one of these glow kits from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and of course I think it's gonna be the one, this one here, this one is that glow. But I'm gonna go with Dripping in Gold. And I'm using the Anastasia uh, highlighting brush. Alright, so I just grabbed this hydrating primer. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my lips uh, to prep for uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip cream or lipstick that I'm going to use. And these monkeys were suffering, honey. They were suffering rather bad just now because of all the foundation and powder I was on my lips. Yeah, so... Moisture, <laughs> make it forever hydrating primer. That's what I put on there real quick, just to help that out. So, okay, the color of this is uh, brown by Jordana. Um, this one is a little bit more mauve -y, so I'm not sure if it will compete I'm not sure if it will compete with the eyes, if it will be too much for the eye. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to use it. You know what? That's it. I'm using it. Okay. This is Veronica. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're using. Oh, God. It's pretty. Never used it before, y'all. And that primer on the lips, that was the first time me ever doing that, and it is bomb right now. Do you understand? Bomb. Really, really pretty color. Um, you can feel free to wear a nude color if that makes you happy with these eyes. You can do whatever you like. This is what I grabbed, this is what I chose, and this is how it turned out. So that concludes the tutorial, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions or any requests, go ahead and leave them in the description box. If you want a more detailed review on this foundation, you saw you know, how it's wearing, or you can see how it's wearing, um, go ahead and click that link. I'll have that full first impressions type review for the, the whole entire day after this tutorial. <laughs> okay, that will be linked in the description box by that talk normal that will be linked in the description box below or at the end of this video okay i will see you guys in the next one peace